guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay, and in today's class, we're going to continue with our grade 10 math content. Now, what we're covering today is uh, the method of substitution, and this is actually going to be application questions, okay? Uh, again, in this unit, the application questions are really important. If you're looking at the textbook, there's so many different types of questions associated with uh, substitution and elimination that I'm going to break it down into two separate videos. Okay, so this video is going to cover just the uh, substitution application questions. With that, let's get started. I'm going to pick a couple of questions uh, from the textbook as an example, okay? I'm going to read the question out loud, and we're going to do um, each of these separate parts together on the board, okay? All right, so fitness club Fat Can Fit charges a $150 initial fee to join the club and a $20 monthly fee. Okay, then there's another uh, club as well, Fitness or Russ, charges an initial fee of $100 and $30 per month. Okay, so part A says, we are writing the equation, write an equation to represent the cost of membership, okay, at CanFit. So I'm going to write uh, CanFit here, okay, which is uh, one of the companies. And what you should use always is C, okay, because C represents the cost. Okay, so CanFit charges an initial fee of $150, okay? And then it is charging $20 per month. So I always use N for that, so 20N, just like this, okay? And then part B says, write an equation that represents, oh, let me write, uh, the cost of membership at Fitness or Us. So I'm gonna write Fitness or Us, like this, okay? And how much they charge is an initial fee of $100. So put 100. And it's $30 per month. Okay. So now if you're looking at each of these uh, equations here, okay, it's not just going to be that one is uh, cheaper than the other. What's going to happen if I were to graph these two equations together, okay, on the same graph, you'll notice that one of these, um, one of these clubs will be cheaper up to a certain point, okay? And the point of intersection of these two equations or graphs actually represents uh, when the cost is actually going to be the same at both of the clubs. And you'll notice after the point of intersection, one of the clubs will actually be more expensive, okay, compared to the other one, okay? So I can't actually make assumptions like that. It's actually better if you are graphing it out, okay? But here we're going to look at it algebraically, okay? So we're going to skip, skip part C here because it says graph the two equations. Okay, I'm going to actually find the point of intersection here algebraically. Okay, so what we're going to do is make both of these equal to each other because you see they both are like the cost. I can just take, okay, uh, let's put sub equation one into equation two. Okay, so it's kind of like I'm just writing out this equation here. And I'm just making both of these equal, okay, to each other. So let's write it out. So it's going to be 150 plus 20N. Okay, so this is my first equation. I'm plugging it basically in for the C here, okay? So it equals to 100 plus 30N. Okay, so it just looks like this. And I can see again, this is just a very simple equation. I'm making both sides equal, okay? Let's take the N to one side here. Okay, so I'm taking the 30N to the other side. Okay, I'm going to take the 150 to the opposite side. So on this side, it's going to be 20N minus 30N. All right, and I see on the other side, the 100 is still there. So I'm going to do 100 minus 150. Okay, everyone sees how to do that. And you notice again, like when you are subtracting these two numbers, it's going to be negative, but the negative will cancel out. So 20n minus 30n, negative 10n equals to negative 50, okay? And uh, because you're solving for uh, the n value here, okay, um, it has to be a positive number. So if you get something that's negative, uh, just check uh, your answer out one more time. I'm going to divide it by negative 10 on both sides because the ne uh, negative 10 will cancel out and n is equal to 5. Okay, 
So this is basically uh, looks like the number of visits, okay, that you are going to each of these clubs here because it's like um like a fitness club, okay, or the gym. So I, I do have to pay a monthly fee here, okay, and uh, and represents the number of visits. So what this means is basically, if I am going to the gym five times per month, okay, it doesn't actually matter which of these uh, clubs I go to. The cost is going to be the same okay so that's what the meaning of the point of intersection will be but again this is n equals five okay so i have to take that and maybe i can plug it into one of these equations here so let's write it here i'm going to put sub into equation one okay and again i can plug it into whichever equation i want we're just going to do it into uh, the first equation okay so 150 plus 20 times five, okay? And uh, you should get the same answer again, okay? As uh, if I plug it into the second equation as well, and it's going to be $250, okay? If you wanna write the point of intersection here, I'm just gonna write it on the side. I'm going to write the value of N first, so it's five, and then 250 is going to be the Y value, okay? So does everyone see that here? The point of intersection means for if I'm going to either of the gyms uh, for like five visits per month, I'm going to have to pay $250. And this cost will be the same whether I want to go to the fitness club can fit or if I want to go to fitness or us. Okay. So again, it just depends on how many times um, a month you actually go to the gym. So if you are regular and maybe you're going to the gym three or four times a week, uh, per month, right? It's going to add up, and one of these uh, gyms is going to be much cheaper for you. All right. So this this is actually a really good application question. Uh, the teacher will most likely give you something that's similar to this on the test, and the reason for that is that this is kind of a real world application. It does apply to you uh, if you do go to the gym and you have like a gym membership, and that kind of pushes you to actually go to the gym and work out. All right. So if there are no questions, let's uh, try one more example from the textbook. So I'm going to take this off, all right? So remember that the substitution questions are actually very similar to each other, okay? And you're doing the questions in the same manner as we did this example, okay? So uh, one more time, I'm going to read the question out loud, all right? So LC Video rents a game machine for $10, okay? And video games for $3 each. Big Vid, it basically rents the game machine for $7 and the video games for $4 each, all right? So the same thing here, what we're gonna do is I'm going to write the equation. So part A says, write a linear equation to represent the total cost for renting a game machine and some video games for LC video. All right, so we're gonna put LC video again. We're just gonna use C for cost, okay? Uh, so let's try that. Okay, so write the linear equation. So LC video rents the game machine for $10. Okay, so this is for the game machine. So $10 here, okay? And uh, the video games is $3 each. Oh, so that's just right, $3 each. So 3N, okay? So in this case too, if you read the question one more time, looks like there's only one variable, okay? It's basically uh, the number of video games, okay? And the game machine can also be a different value as well, okay? And if I'm doing it for, let's do it for the second one here. So this is big bid, okay? And for big bid, the cost is going to be, uh, it's going to be uh, $7, okay? Uh, for the game machine. So we're gonna put $7 for the game machine and it's $4 each okay for the video games all right so it basically looks like this here okay and uh, we are looking for uh, also the point of intersection okay and so again what we could do here is make both of these equations uh, equal to each other okay so let's put equation one and equation two okay and I always do the subbing of equation one into equation two so I'm gonna put sub one into two, okay? And uh, you're basically just making both of these equations equal to each other. So I'm gonna do 10 plus three N 
equals 7 plus 4n. Okay? So it just looks like this. And again, I like making arrows depending on where I'm moving each of my variables. Okay? So I'm going to move the 4n to the other side, to the left side. So it becomes negative 4n. Okay? I'm moving the 10 over to the other side. So 7 minus 10, like this. Okay? So remember for the substitution uh, problems, most of them will just involve uh, one variable here. And you're always going to be solving for the value of n, okay? So C says find the point of intersection of the two lines, all right? So on this side, I have negative 1n equals, and you're doing 7 minus 3, or 7 minus 10, so negative 3. Okay, the n value has to be uh, positive here. So we're going to divide it by negative 1 on both sides and n is equal to 3, okay? And uh, so basically, in this question, uh, n is represents the number of games, uh, video games that I am renting, okay? So uh, if I want to rent only three video games, okay, it doesn't matter if you go to LC Video or if you go to Big Vid, the cost is going to be the same, okay? So we're going to find out the cost here. Let's sub this n value back into uh, equation 1, okay? And again, you can sub it into equation 2 if you like. So I'm going to do 10 plus 3 times 3. So this is 10 plus uh, 9, which is $19. Okay, and again, I would write the point of intersection here, like POI, so 3 and 19, okay? So again, I want to rent uh, three video games. And for those three video games, it's going to cost me $19. Uh, at basically both places. So if I go to LC Video or to Big Vin, it's going to cost $19 for three video games that I want to rent. Okay, does that make sense? And uh, one of the questions will always say, um, so we're finding the point of intersection. And then D says, explain what the point of intersection represents in this context, okay? So when the teacher gives you a question like this, like say on a quiz or a test, okay? This doesn't have to be just a knowledge question. I can see it can also be like a thinking or like a communication question. I have to know what the point of intersection means here. All right. And the point of intersection is always basically uh, where the graphs are meeting each other at one point. And that's always when the cost will be the same. Okay. Whether it is um, like a fitness, like a gym, or whether it's uh, two separate video game stores. Okay, it really uh, doesn't matter, okay? All right, so that looks good. And that brings this video to an end. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, please make sure you're clicking on the like button below. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel so I can bring out more content associated with grade 10 math. And I will see everyone in the next video. Thanks, bye.